Unless you've been living under a rock for the last several thousand years, I'm sure you've heard of or practiced yourself breathwork. Though we hear the word buzz around, very few of us still practice it or recognize the benefits, let alone are able to even define it. So if you're wondering what breathwork is, why you should practice it, and what the benefits are, then keep watching this video because that's what I'm about to cover. This video is the beginner's guide to breathwork, the how, why, and what. And I love breathwork because it's free, it's accessible to everybody. It's the first thing we did when we came into this world and the last thing we'll do. I wake up every morning saying thank you to my breath and it is what contributes to our vitality, our health, and our longevity. So keep watching to find out why you should be practicing this every day. It doesn't matter where, it doesn't matter if it's just for a few breaths or for 30 minutes. It is such an important practice that should become one of the most important habits you adopt for a lifetime. Generally speaking, breathwork refers to so many different types of breathing exercises and techniques. So if this word has had you confused, this is probably why. We breathe automatically. We don't really put a lot of thought into it, but breathwork is a little more conscious. I remember my mom always used to make fun of fitness instructors when they'd say, remember to breathe. Of course we breathe. It's something we do very unconsciously. But breathwork is actually conscious breathing. Conscious breathing is intentional and we do it to improve our physical, mental, and emotional well-being. This is an ancient practice and I love ancient practices because they have withstood the test of time. It also has a ton of scientific backing to support what we're going to be talking about. While it originated from ancient times, today in most developed countries we see it around holistic circles, you know, around yoga, retreats, and meditation practices. The essence of breathwork lies in the belief that changing how you breathe can alter your body's state of health and relaxation, and there is a ton of science to back this up. By consciously controlling the depth, pace, and patterns of our breath, we can actually activate our body's natural relaxation response, reduce stress, improve focus, and tap into deeper levels of emotional healing and self-awareness. Breathwork is available to anyone because it is so adaptable and varied in its techniques. It ranges from simple exercises like deep abdominal breathing to more advanced techniques like holotropic breathwork, which involves heavy, fast breathing that almost hyperventilates your body, but takes you to some really interesting transcendent states. The beauty of breathwork is in its accessibility in terms of economics because air is free setting because you can do it anywhere. You can do it in your office, you can do it in your bed, you can do it right now, wherever you are. Time because you can do it in just one breath if you're in a heightened state, or you can spend hours in breathwork if you're doing practices such as holotropic breathwork. And lastly, it's available to people all over the world regardless of age, socioeconomic status, and physical abilities. It's honestly the best bang for your buck when it comes to health and longevity. So I really encourage you to practice this even if it's only three breaths every night before bed. Now let's move into three different breathwork techniques. I'm going to go through them pretty quickly, but I'm also going to practice them right here so you can get an idea of what you can do. And then you can continue the practice for just three breaths for three minutes or for three hours. It's really up to you, but any conscious breathing is going to be beneficial for your physical and mental well-being. So first, let's talk about the space. You can really do this anywhere. You can do it right now where you're standing or where you're working or where you're sitting. You can do it anywhere, but ideally, it's best to have a comfortable place where you can sit or lay down where the space is calm and there's not a lot of distractions. You can do breath work standing, sitting, or laying down, but for longer practices, I would recommend sitting or laying down comfortably. And then what time is required? Well, as I mentioned before, you could do just one breath. You could do three breaths, which is what we're doing this week nightly and hoping that this will be a habit that sticks for the long term. Or you can practice it for three minutes, five minutes, an hour. It's really up to you. But any breath today that is conscious is going to be better than no conscious breath at all. So try to do it at least once a day, even if it's just for one breath. Now let's jump into three simple techniques that are really good for beginners. The first one is the one that I try to practice nightly. If you want to adopt this as a habit, I would recommend you start by putting a little sticky note on your bedside table that reminds you to do conscious breathing at night right when you go to bed. So you put one there and this is the exercise that I practice every night for just three breaths. Longer if I have the discipline to, but as long as I do three breaths, I'm happy and that's a really low expectation that anyone can do. This is called simple four, seven, eight breathing. And so basically what you're doing is you're inhaling into your belly for four breaths. Then you want to hold it for seven breaths and then you want to exhale for eight breaths. And try to do this three times if possible, but you can do it for three minutes, five minutes, the longer, the more benefits you're gonna get from it. So let's try this cycle together. 
I recommend you put your hand on your belly just to feel the breath coming in. And here we go. Breathe in for four, hold for seven, out for eight. Breathe in. Two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, just go back to breathing normally. Can you feel there was a change in your state just from that one breath? Take a moment now to think about how that breathing technique affected you. It was so quick, it took under 20 seconds to do, but think about physiologically and mentally how that one simple breath affected you. So let's say you're in a heightened state, somebody's just upset you, you got a phone call that put you a little bit in fight or flight mode. This is a great time to use the four, seven, eight technique. It'll really calm your homostasis. It'll take you out of your fight or flight reptilian brain and help you come back to your frontal cortex where you can think a little more logically, as well as keeping you in the heart and in the body so that you don't lose sight of how emotions impact our lives as well because there's always that fine balance between thinking and feeling. Exercise number two that I'm going to show you is called diaphragm breathing or belly breath. So for this one, try to sit or lay down comfortably. I'm just going to quickly get cross-legged. Again, I'm going to encourage you to put your hand on your belly so you can feel the air come in. This is a really good technique for beginners. It also gives more physical cues so that you don't get lost in that monkey brain and you can focus more on your breath. For the inhale and exhale, try to make them as slow as you possibly can. So if you're a beginner, you may not be able to do an inhale and exhale for more than eight seconds, but as you get more experience, you can bring this up substantially. So let's do it right now just for an eight second in and eight second out. When you breathe in, breathe in through your nose and let your belly push out. Try not to let your chest move at all. And if you can, try to be in a really nice and straight position. And when you exhale for eight, push the air out through your lips. Try to make sort of a whistling shape on your lips so there'll be a little bit pursed like this. And let all the air come out and feel your belly as it empties itself of all the oxygen. Try to do this for three to five minutes and really focus on the air coming into your belly and fully inflating and then the air leaving your belly fully deflating. And again, if you focus on your breathing, it'll really help keep your mind clear of all the thinking we do day in and day out. So here we go. We're just going to do it for eight counts. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's good. Doesn't that feel amazing? And again, imagine what you'll feel like after three to five minutes. Ah, you know, doing these videos, I can get so angst and I'm really amazed at how calming that was. I've never done it during a video. I may have to start doing that as breaks when I record these videos because it just brought me into such a relaxed state. All right, got to get back to the video. Exercise number three is called box breathing, or sometimes it's called square breathing. For this exercise, I want you to sit comfortably on a chair. So you want to sit upright, try to sit straight again. Your feet should be flat on the ground. And we're going to do a four, four, four count. So four in, four hold, four exhale. And in this exercise, we're going to be filling our lungs completely in the four seconds. And for the exhale, you want to exhale through your mouth and take out all the air that's in your lungs. So for the inhale, you want to fill it up really quickly in that four seconds. For the exhale, you want to get all that air out as quickly as you can within that four seconds. So this kind of exercise is more energizing. Uh, it's a great one to do in the morning because it'll really give you a lot of energy for the day and it'll really get you going. If you're trying a quick coffee, this is a really great replacement to uh, get you energized. We're going to do three rounds and see how you feel after this. Are you ready? Here we go. In two, three, four. Hold two, three, four. Out two, three, four. In. Hold. Out. In. Hold. Imagine if you keep going for a few minutes, 
you're going to get a little bit of a dizzy feeling and that's totally normal, but it's also going to really energize you. Now I'm going to go through some simple tips that I wrote down for you guys. The first is that it can be done anywhere, anytime. I've already said that quite a few times. It is really one of those things in life that anything is better than nothing. So if all you can do, all you can commit to is just one breath a day, do it. Do one conscious breath a day. If you can do more, all the better. And doing it at nighttime, which is week one's uh, habit forming strategy. Put a note by your bedside and do the four, seven, eight practice and see how much better you sleep. Tip number two is if your mind wanders, just try to bring it back to your breath. That'll really help your mind from staying calm and present. The next tip is to begin with three to five breaths and gradually increase the duration as you become more comfortable, more experienced, and especially as you see more value in what breathwork can do for you. Also, it's really normal to feel a bit lightheaded, especially from that third practice that we did with the filling your lungs in and out really quickly. If it does start to get uncomfortable, just return back to your normal breathing patterns. The key to breathwork is consistency, so just keep at it. If you forget about it for a day, for a week, for a month, for a year, it doesn't matter. It's something you can come back to, and it's going to be such a big contributor to your health and longevity. Make sure you start with small, realistic goals. Don't overcommit at the beginning. We as North Americans can sometimes be an all or nothing mentality. There's so much space in between, such a gray zone in between. So don't think that either you do breath work and it has to be for 20 minutes or you don't do it at all. There's a ton in between when it comes to breath work. As I said, one breath is still gonna offer you benefits. And from one breath, you can gradually increase it and decrease it as you see fit in your life. Keep a journal. I love journaling. I'm really bad at it, but I do see the value in it. I probably should put a sticky note in my bedside to remind me to journal every night, but try to keep a journal to record how you felt, how often you're doing it. Having that visual cue is really going to inspire you to keep at it and to keep practicing breath work. Breath work has so much value in our everyday lives. You can integrate it when you're feeling stressed, when you have insomnia, when you need to energize yourself, when you need more mental clarity or focus, or just to calm your nervous system. It's been proven to be extremely beneficial if you have anxiety to calm that nervous system and put you in a calmer homeostasis. Now let's talk about some of the benefits of breathwork and these are not only ancient practices, but they have a ton of scientific support. If you Google it, you'll find a gazillion research papers that have scientifically proven that breathwork is really good for our bodies. I'm gonna give you the three top benefits of breathwork. The first one is reducing stress. Stress is the number one killer in our modern society. So if you are interested in longevity, if you're committed to longevity and health, then breathwork should be one of your number one priorities. There's a ton of studies that have shown that breathwork and conscious breathing is very good for our bodies, for calming our anxieties, and for calming our nervous system. The second benefit is improved mental health. Studies have found significant effects of breathwork and mindful breathing in reducing anxiety and depression. These studies found that mindful breathing and breathwork are effective tools for your mental well-being. And the third benefit is enhanced brain function and emotional regulation. This is because mindful breathing alters the communication from the respiratory system to the brain. And by doing so, it's influencing regions that regulate behavior, thoughts, and emotions. Slow breathing practices result in the synchronization of brain waves, enabling effective communication across all the brain regions. This synchronization can lead to emotional regulation and mental clarity. Now I want to talk about the long-term effects because as you know, I love how small habits have momentum in the long-term for giving us more health and longevity. The most powerful long-term benefits include improved respiratory functions and increased oxygen supply to the body. Oxygen is life. Reduced blood pressure, so if you've got high blood pressure, this is a really important tool for you. And the most common being stress relief and mental clarity. Enhanced mood and emotional regulation. Spiritual benefits if that's applicable to you. And a deeper sense of self-awareness and mindfulness. And lastly, connection with the inner self and with our environment. And this is what I mean when I say breath work or conscious breathing is probably the best bang for our buck when it comes to our health and our longevity. So I'd love to hear from you. If there's techniques that you love that you wanna share, put them down below. Let me know if you practice breath work and if this video was helpful. If you wanna join me as I present each week a new habit that contributes to our health and longevity, then make sure to hit the plus sign and please like the video so I know I should be making more like these.